Hey, I got another poem for you today. This one is called Supply Chain. Adios, amigos. Vamanos. Vamanos. Let's get the forklift out of here. The supply chain is stretched thin. Yeah. Like the true story of some <laughs> pimple-faced 13-year-old punk. Store shelves are empty. But the stores, oh, they'll blame it on the factories, saying they can't put out enough like the suppliers are like some kind of wind-up cheerleader that's supposed to just roll over and take it for the team. Big block stores be like the spoiled girl brat. I want the pink pony, Daddy. Big pout. We want a hundred SKUs by Friday. Deliver or else we'll find someone else who can. Of course, it doesn't matter that Queen Karen is like backing up the station wagon and loading up a pallet of toilet paper. I mean, her big cratered butt is big, but come on. She don't need that much TP. Does a bear crap in the woods? No. It drops it in a big rusty double wide at the trailer park. Still, the big blocks don't want a big inventory. Just in time. No less. No more. You deliver long time or bye-bye. And you, the customer, just bite your tongue and put that extra can of chicken chow mein in the cart and keep moving like a good little consumer. Keep scanning. Thanks for shopping. Y'all come back now. You hear? <laughs> awesome. Hey, that's the supply chain. Hey, that that's the world we live in, you know? It's, uh, it's got to be somebody else's fault. Couldn't be the stores. Couldn't be all the hoarders. Couldn't be all the stimulus checks. Everybody's got money to blow. Could yeah. Don't get me going. Hey, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip. Cringe poetry. <laughs>